sentenced in August. Well, it's not often a former tennis Hall of Famer comes to town in an RV to give a clinic, but Mats Wielander was never your typical superstar. And Tom Pippen shows you his humility has served him and those around him pretty well. Mats Wielander burst onto the professional tennis scene 30 years ago. And next to wins it. From 1982 through 88, the Swede won seven Grand Slam singles titles. The net result? A number one ranking in the world in 88. Wielander captured his fourth Grand Slam singles title at the age of 20, the youngest man in history to have achieved that feat. Mats was motivated and inspired by a native countryman. My hero was obviously Bjorn Borg, and uh, he sort of uh, paved the path for, for us younger Swedes coming along. And uh, there were certain, certain pressures of, of being the next Bjorn Borg, but uh, once I won my first major at 17 years old, that pressure sort of went away. And... As a tennis superstar, Mats Wielander was served fame and fortune, yet he somehow managed to stay grounded. And humble. I am the youngest of three brothers, so even winning the French Open at 17, I still had to go and get the deck of cards and get my brothers uh, their beers or their coffee or whatever <laughs> they needed. So uh, it was it was pretty easy uh, to stay grounded. Uh, six off. Fans in America will never forget the duels between John McEnroe and Jimmy Connors. They long for the brilliance and power of Pete Sampras, the elegance of Chris Everett. Mats Wielander offers perspective on why there are so few top-tier players from the U.S. today. We have to learn everything about the game that there is to know, because if you have a lot, you can lose a lot. When you come from some of the countries where some of the players come from, they grow up with nothing. You know, in some parts of Russia, they don't have that much. The parents don't have that much. They've put everything they have into the kid's tennis, and the kid is, is, has his back up against the wall, and he better try really hard, because mom and dad are depending on it. Mats Wielander's competitive career is finished, but he's really just getting started when it comes to giving back to the game that's given him so much, the game he loves so much. And therefore, we have Wielander on wheels on a muggy, sultry Monday here at Western Racquet Club in Elm Grove. He's a great role model. He was one of the, he's one of the great champions of all time, uh, having won seven Grand Slam tournaments, but it was the way he won them. Uh, anytime we can, uh, you know, just a class act. Everything that you see is what you get. He, uh, for me, honor, courage, commitment from the Naval Academy is kind of my motto and the morals that I live by. It makes it very easy for myself, for me to associate with him just because of who he is as a person. It's, it's the real deal. Mats Wielander won $8 million playing tennis. He earned more in endorsements. With a wife and children in Idaho, why barnstorm around the country holding 100 tennis clinics a year? It's given back to, to the sport that's given me my life, given my, me uh, the respect that I have, not just for tennis players, but for people in general. I don't have a, a high school education or a college education, but I think I got one from just meeting people. Tom Pippins. Fox 6 Sports.